Okay, so we're going to start off really easy as always by doing our arm circles. Okay, so just bringing our arms around. Lovely. And um, we're going to change side, we'll change direction in three, two, one, change in direction. Excellent. Keeping those arms real straight. Lovely. And let's bring our arms forward and back. So opening out the chest. Good. And arms nice and straight as we come out wide. Three, two, one, and we'll do snow angels. Looking up at the ceiling, looking down to the floor. Excellent. Three, two, one. Let's do some neck circles. Oh. Nice and slowly. And change direction. Three, two, one. So the next one is to warm up our back muscles. So you're just gonna lean back slightly, 45 degree angle. So it's gonna be a row and then arm straight, still fly. So row and fly. Super. Excellent. Three, two, one. The next one, we're gonna squat. We're gonna reach high to the ceiling, so squatting down, reaching up onto our tiptoes as we reach up towards the ceiling. seconds. Excellent. Three, two, one. Next one, we're going to do some walkouts. So hands on the floor, walking out into that high plank position, walk back, standing up nice and tall. Hands on the floor, walk out, walk back, keep going. We'll do a couple more. Make the next one your last one. Excellent. And right. So the next one we're going to do, we're going to start stretching now. So I want your legs wide apart. I want your feet facing inwards, keeping your back nice and straight, abs tucked in. We're going to lean forward. Not rounding the back and keep leaning forward until you can feel that stretch. You want to try and feel, feel it in the inner thighs. If you can put your hands onto the floor without rounding your back, do so. Or if you've got a brick or something that can, you can rest your hands on, do that. If you can't feel the stretch in your inner thighs, put those legs a little bit wider apart. You can hold it here for another 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. So the next one's a standing back bend. So I want you to put both your big toes together, have about two and a half centimeters um, between the heels of your feet. And what we're going to do, we're going to bring our, up, well, our hands together, make it like a pistol um, with your hands. And then I want you to try and sort of stretch back. So lean backwards into that stretch. And just hold it. Keep those abs engaged though. Don't let those abs relax. Three, two, one. So keeping that pistol sort of position and your toes together. Now we're going to bend to the side. Hold 15 seconds each side. Keep those arms straight. And 
and then change side. Lightly push your hips the opposite way to your arms. Three, two, one. Okay, so the next one's the chair position. So you're going to keep your feet how they are. You're going to put your hands, you're going to link them together. And what you're going to do, you're going to sit back into a squat, squeezing your thighs together, and just going to hold that position. You want to feel sort of stretch in your shoulders. Keep those arms straight. If you find them hard, keep them straight in the middle. You can hold them out wide. Hold for another 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we're going to do some floor based work now. So we're going to get ourselves into a child pose position. So in the tabletop position to start with, with your toes untucked, facing the wall behind you. You're going to roll back, sitting on the heels of your feet getting your head close to the floor and stretching those hands forward. You're going to hold it here for a good 20 seconds. And then I'm going to tell you to walk your hands, the right hand side of your body, to feel a stretch in your left hand side. Hopefully that makes sense in a moment. Let's start walking our hands, the right hand side, walking right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. Feel the stretch in your left hand side of the body. Try and keep your hips square to the floor. You should feel that in your left hand side. Just hold it here for 20 seconds. In 10 seconds, you're gonna walk your hands over to the left hand side of your body to feel a stretch in your right hand side. Three, two, one. So let's walk it past center. Find that stretch and hold. Hold for another 10 seconds. And let's start walking it back to centre, back into the tabletop position. Um, I'm going to do some cat-cow poses. So we're going to do five reps of each. So starting with the, uh, the cat pose, you're going, to do, you're going to draw your belly button up, keeping your arms straight, dropping the head. Three, two, one. You're going to reverse it by dropping the belly button down, raising the head. Three, two, one, and change. So four more times on each. Three, two, one, change. Three, two, one, change. Three, two, one, change. A third rep. Three, two, one. Change. Three, two, one. Change. That's a fourth rep. Three, two, one. On the last one. Three, two, one, change. Three, two, one, and relax into that tabletop position again. So the next one's the lizard stretch. So what we're gonna do, we'll get into a high plank position. And what I want you to do is to bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand here. And then you're gonna drop your knee down and you're gonna hold that stretch. You should feel it in your inner thigh Right side. Hold it for another 15 seconds. Uh, 
And let's change side. So flip that right foot back, left foot to the outside of your left hand, and then drop that knee down. And focus on stretching the inner thighs of your left hand side, your left leg. Three, two, one. Flip that leg back. This one, the next one, the pigeon stretch. So you now you're going to bring your right knee to the back of your right hand. You want to shift your foot so it's facing the wall. You're going to lean into that stretch. You can put your forearms on the floor. Really push the hips forward, feel the stretch a bit more. And you can always straighten or push back your straight leg and feel the stretch a bit more. So hold this one for 20 seconds. Good, and let's go onto our hands. Let's put our right leg back. Now it's your left knee to your, the back of your left hand. Again, shift that foot if you need to. Lean into the stretch. Put, that four, put your forearms on the floor. And hold 20 seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Onto our hands. Flip that leg back. The next one, I've got thread the needle. So, what I want you to do, tabletop position. Um, I want you to put your knees sort of wider than shoulder width apart as you go into child pose, like this. And then from this position, I want you to thread your left hand underneath your right, and try and sort of press your upper right arm into the floor. And feel that stretch. Again, focus on pushing your right arm, which is threaded, sorry, your left arm, which is threaded under your right arm, straight on the floor. Three, two, one, and then we're gonna change sides. So this time you're threading your right hand underneath your left, and I want you to try and press the upper arm onto the floor to feel the stretch in the shoulders. Three, two, one. Good. Uh, so the next one we're going to lie on our back. The figure four stretch. So we did this earlier in body blast. So you're going to bring one leg on top of your thigh, and then you're going to pull back into this position. Excellent. So you should feel this in the glutes depending on what side you've got crossed over. I've got my right leg crossed over so I can feel it in my right side. And switch sides. And pull back. And relax that one. So now we're going to need a strap. Um, if you haven't got a strap, you probably could do without one. If, um, and then I'll tell you what you can do uh, without instead. So we're going to do just a standard hamstring stretch. Okay, so keep both legs straight for this one we're going to do today. Um, you're going to lift one leg up, keep it nice and straight. And you're going to assist it by sort of pulling on that resistance band Getting to that point of discomfort. You're going to hold this for 30 seconds. 
If you feel you can assist it a bit more, pull that stretch a bit more, do so. Excellent, keep that leg straight. So what you're gonna do now, if you've got a resistance band, hold it with your left hand, um, and then I want you to place your right hand on the floor with your shoulders on the floor, and we're gonna stretch the uh, inner leg muscles by bringing our foot outwards. Keep that leg straight. Just hold it here for another 15. Okay, good. Return it to that hamstring stretch at the top. Now grab the resistance band with your other hand. Place the other hand on the floor with your shoulders. And now you're going to drop your legs to feel the stretch in your outer thighs. You might not be able to take it too far. And what the idea here is to try and keep your hips on the floor. Don't rotate. Keep those hips on the floor and then pull it. Good, three, two, one, relax that. We're gonna do the same on the other side. So it's hamstrings, then inner, and then outer, okay? So you keep both legs straight. Oh, this one's worse than the other one. Oh gosh. Keep that leg real straight. So I'm stretching my right leg now. So if you're stretching your left, do the opposite to what I've been telling you to do. So grab the resistance with your right hand, place your left hand on the floor, shoulders on the floor, hips to the ground. You're gonna bring your leg wide to stretch the inner thigh. Hold for 20 seconds. And bring that back to center, like your hamstring stretch. Now take the resistance band, a band with your other hand, keep your hips to the floor, and then go and pull it so you're stretching your outer thigh muscles. Again, do not rotate with the stretch. Try and keep those hips on the floor. Hold for another 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and relax there. Take, uh, put the band to one side. Next one, we are reclined to twist. Okay. So the next one, we're gonna be lying on our back. Uh, we're gonna put both shoulders on the floor, arms outstretched, bend your knees to 90 degrees. Okay, and then we're just gonna twist to the side. So you can get your knees to touch the floor. And then bring it back to centre, twist the other way. Okay, back to centre. Okay, next one, we're gonna bring our knees in. I'm gonna give it a big hug, double hug. Thighs into the chest.
Good, and relax that one. Let's now stretch the quads. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do a lying down quad stretch. You can lie down on the side. You find that a little bit more comfortable. Right, grab your foot and pull it back. So we're going to hold this for 30 seconds. Focus on digging those hips towards the ground. You can use a resistance band if you want to for this stretch. Hold for another 10. Three, two, one, switch sides. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Lovely. Relax that down. So keeping with the quads, we're going to be in a kneeling position like this. You're going to put your hands behind you, and you're going to lift your hips forward. Lift your hips forward. Again, another way of stretching those quads. Again, we're going to hold it for a good 30 seconds. Hold for another 10. Three, two, one, good. Tabletop position. Into a plank, we're going to do the greatest stretch in the world, and we're going to do five reps on each side. So what you're going to do, you're going to place your right foot to the outside of your right hand. You're going to twist, fingertips facing the ceiling, hand back down, and then alternate the sides. So that's one rep on each side. Nice and slowly. That's two reps. That's three. That's four. And that's my fifth rep. Okay, lovely, hands on the floor, plank position into tabletop. Now I want you to plant your right foot in between your hands. In between your hands like this. And we're gonna bring our body upright into a low lunge position. And I want you to focus on pushing your left hip forward and hold. What we can do on this one as well to add to the stretch you can bring your arms overhead, and then it's a sideward bend towards that bent knee or over that bent knee. It's good. Hands on the floor and swap sides. Left foot in between your hands. Bring yourself upright. Push those hips forward. Right hip forward. Hands in the air, sideward bend, over the bent knee. Good, place the hand back down. Now don't bring your foot back, keep that left foot forward. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna lean back to straighten that left leg. And this is a calf stretch. So if you can reach your to toes, that's awesome. Pull them back. Okay, 
Okay, and let's switch sides now. So we can flip that leg back into tabletop, right leg forward, straighten that leg as you roll back. Try and reach for those toes. Release that stretch, back into the tabletop position, plank, walk your hands back, up into standing position. Okay, we're gonna just do a bit of a shoulder sequence. So you want you to put your hands on top of your shoulders. Let's do a swimming action with our arms. Fifteen seconds in each direction. And change direction. It's good. Lovely. And a shoulder stretch. So arm across the body. Pull the arm back. Posterior shoulder stretch. And change. And then it's a tricep stretch, but also stretches your shoulders as well. Arms behind your back or hand holding behind your back, push that arm back. And change. Okay, lovely. Next one, hands behind our back, arms straight, chest forward, lifting the arms, feeling that stretch in the chest, but also stretching the uh, anterior deltoids, that front of the shoulders. Good, excellent. Next one, another calf stretch, the standings calf stretch. So feet apart, feet facing forwards, back leg straight, heel on the floor, bend that front knee. And change. Okay, lovely. Uh, so the next one, we're gonna bring our feet together. We're gonna do a side lunge. Just gonna hold it there. Bring it back to centre, changing the side. Lovely. And the next one we're going to do, we're going to put our feet hip width apart. It's called the waiter's bow. So you've got to put your hands on your hips and bow down, keeping your legs straight. Try and get to 90 degrees if you can. If you feel it in your hamstrings. Try and keep your legs kind of straight. And relax, everyone. That's your stretch session for today.